Hello everyone. I want to welcome you back to Kathy's Creole Kitchen. Um, today we're going to be making something called Butter Pecan Meltaways. It's a wonderful little cookie that does not need very many ingredients. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a cup of powdered sugar and that's for the end after we get the cookies made. We put that to the side. But the ingredients for the Meltaways is going to be a half cup of butter, two and a half tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of water, one teaspoon vanilla, and a half cup of chopped toasted pecans. You know, I always say parched. But the first step is to take the butter. A half cup of butter is always a half stick of butter, unless you have it in those little bitty ones that are, you know, but these are uh, eight tablespoons is a cup of butter. So we're gonna put that butter in the mixer and we're gonna put that two and a half tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna put that in there and we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna let it cream. And as a matter of fact, um, it really should have salted butter, but I never have salted butter in the house. So I'm gonna tell you a handy dandy little trick. If you need salted butter, all you have to do is put one fourth teaspoon of salt into the mixture. So I'm going to get my salt out of my cabinet and I'm going to put a fourth teaspoon in my flour mixture right there. And so we'll mix it all up together. I want to make sure you guys are looking at my videos and liking them and preparing the recipes. I don't get much feedback about you guys preparing it. I get feedback about it looks great and it, you know, it, that looks yummy and everything, but cook it and let me know what you think about it when you cook it. So uh, that will surely, surely help. Remember, it's Kathy's Creole Kitchen. Subscribe to it and like my videos. This butter looks like it's creamed pretty good. So once it's creamed, we're going to add the one teaspoon of water, like so. We're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla, like so. And we're going to mix that in. Let me get my little special hours to get. Here we go. I got it. So let's turn this off and scrape it down. You always want to scrape your, your bowl down. You want to scrape your little bowl down because all your little ingredients end up on the side of the bowl instead of in the mixture. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get it all back in the middle. We're going to mix it up one more time. And now we're going to turn it off so that this flour doesn't scatter. We're going to take this one cup of flour and we're just going to put it all in there at once. Then we're going to turn it on low and we're going to mix it until it's incorporated into a sticky dough. We want it to get incorporated into a nice sticky dough. So this is going to take a minute. So let me get it incorporated into a nice sticky dough and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so it looks nice and sticky to me. I'm going to turn it off and show you what it looks like. Looks like that. Just push it off like that. But now we're going to get it off the, the paddle and we're going to add the pecans to it. Look at the pecans. You just dump the, the half uh, cup of toasted parched pecans in there and you just turn the mixer back on and you blend it all together, just like so. We get it all blended up. And the next step, as that's blending, I have a cookie sheet prepared with parchment paper because once I get all these pecans incorporated into this dough, we're gonna roll it into little balls and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes because you want it to solidify a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Let's see. Yep, looks good. So now, 
We're gonna get it all off of here. Just like so. You don't wanna leave any of that yummy goodness on the paddle. We're just gonna try to scrape as much off as we can because that's cookie. That we're, we also cookie that we're leaving on the, the paddle if we leave too much. Don't wanna leave too much. We're gonna get as much as we can. So let's just take that off. And now I'm gonna take off my rings because you don't wanna be rolling around dough with rings on because first of all, rings have germs on them and that's not good. You don't wanna have germs all over your cookies. And I'm gonna take this and pull it off right here and I'm gonna wash my hands again real quick. You want them nice and clean when you're about to do this. You don't want to be spreading yucky bacteria. So let's get that. Get my hands all nice and dry. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take a tablespoon. This is my measured, no, that's two tablespoons, my bad. We're gonna take a measured tablespoon, just like so. We're gonna scoop up the cookie dough in there. Then we're gonna get it out. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna roll it into a little ball, just like so. Just like so. And we're gonna do this, make these little balls with all of the dough. And once I get that done, we'll go to the next step. Okay, so as you can see, I have all the dough rolled into little balls. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna take a regular little spoon and we're gonna smash them down a little. Not too much, just a little. You wanna spread them out a little. Just like so, that's all you gotta do. Smash them down a little. And after we get them all smashed down, we're gonna put them in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. So, let's get them all smashed down. Cause you don't want a ball of raw dough, for sure. Because if you don't smash them down, it's gonna take longer to cook them. And then they're gonna come out a little too brown. So I like to smash them down, but you don't have to if you want to raw them a round little cookie, then go for it. But I like the kind of little smash. Now we're going to put this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. And we're going to, when we take it out, we're going to make sure the oven is preheated to 325 degrees. So let's put this in the refrigerator and I'll be back with you in 30 minutes. Okay, so I had the meltaways in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, but they're too crowded on this cookie sheet. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna transfer some to another cookie sheet. Probably about eight of them because you want them two inches apart so they can spread out. I don't know how big they're gonna spread. So we're just gonna take a chance with eight and we're gonna leave this eight or nine on here. So I'm gonna put the first batch in the oven. It's preheated for um, to 325 degrees. And we probably need to cook these up to 20 minutes, but I don't know for sure. You'll know when you start looking at them. So I'm gonna set the timer. I'm gonna put them in the oven right now. And we're gonna set the timer for 20 minutes, but it might have to come out before then, but we just don't know for sure. Let's just put it on 20 minutes to make sure they're completely cooked. Cause you know, it's on such a low temperature, it's good. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put these back in the refrigerator and then um, I will get right back to you. Okay, it's beeping, so it's time to take it out. We got these off, and we have to let it cool for one minute. In the meantime, we just take this and spread the powdered sugar 
all in the pan because what we're going to do is we're going to roll the cookies in this powdered sugar mixture. That's why I have it in a jelly roll pan. So we're going to let it cool for one minute and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so they've been cooling for one minute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take each cookie and just roll it around in the powdered sugar. And then I'm gonna set it there to cool. Just roll it in the powdered sugar. And set it there to cool, that's all you do. And then once they've completely cooled, we roll them in the powdered sugar all over again to give them an extra coating. So, so I'll say in about, you know, let me see how much time my directions say. It says, yeah, once they cool, we roll, it, roll them in the powdered sugar again because you want to get a nice, good coating on them. But that's all it is to them. They're meltaways. So I'm gonna roll these, and when they cool, like it's about 20 minutes, we'll roll them in that again, okay? Okay, so these have completely cooled. So we're gonna roll them around in this powdered sugar one more time. It makes a mess, but trust me, it's a delicious mess. So guys, remember to subscribe to my page, Kathy's Creole Kitchen, like my videos, leave me comments, let me know if you made the recipe and if you made it how you liked it, because I really wanna know these things. But this, you see how wonderful this cookie looks? I got another batch behind me cooling. So the total number of cookies this makes is about 16. You can double the batch or triple the batch if you have, you wanna make a lot of them. But I love them because they're a great treat. They're great for Halloween, which is coming up. Happy fall, y'all. Um, and they are great for your cookie exchange for Christmas, however you wanna do it. But I hope you enjoy them, so let's give it a taste. Mmm. So good. Crunchy, delicious, <coughs> not too sweet. It's kind of like a shortbread cookie. Very, very good. Well, guys, thanks for watching Kathy's Creole Kitchen this week. <coughs> Excuse me. Join me again next week for something special. Y'all have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time.